it was a, a, specific, it was a specific orange question. Um, Gareth Steenson, we were watching him from a long way off. We, yeah. we haven't seen that much of him in the championship and stuff. How do you think he did today? And, and do you think we should be paying more attention to a 28 year old who's playing Premiership rugby? Um, I mean, Gareth's been kind of in and out of the team so far this season. Performed, uh, we, we brought him in for the Quinns game last week and he performed very, very well. And I think he did, did really well again here today. So, you know, I think you know anybody who's uh, featuring at kind of this level of competition and doing well um, is obviously worth watching. Um, you need to remember he's, he's EQP, he's English qualified as well. So, yeah, 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 yeah. There might be more than Ireland keeping okay. an eye on it. Talk about Tom there for, for, for what he gave you today. And, and, and yeah, well, I mean, Tom, you know, Tom's been a big part of the success of the club for quite a long time now. Um, and you know, and Tommy, along with a few of our other kind of senior players, have worked extremely hard to a drive the club into the Premiership and and b now to kind of get us to this level of competition and, and they're thriving on it. And you know, some some players can do it. Some players can keep stepping up. Um, Tom's one of those guys, and we've got another, another, another number of guys who are doing that. Um, and as I say, you know, that's what we've got to keep doing. You know, I would like to see us having more than one international in our starting 15. You know, and I think those are all the kind of things that are hopefully down the road for us. And just not to piss you off a little more about Ian as well, who seems to have reinvented himself. Ian with him? Yeah, no, Ian's come over, done, doing really well. Um, you know, to be fair, you know, he played a fair bit of rugby for Ulster. You know, it wasn't that he was uh, just a bit part player though, he played a fair bit. But I think, you know, a new challenge for him. Um, he's come in, he's, he's really enjoyed it. He's obviously getting really good regular game time. Um, you know, obviously he's playing a little bit out of position on the wing for us at the minute. Um, but he's, he's done well wherever we picked him, both the centre on the wing. I say, he's enjoying it, he's getting plenty of ball. I think the way we play kind of suits suits backs. You know, if they, if they come and play extra and you stand on the wing, you're still going to get the ball 20 times in a game probably. Um, and that just allows them, it gives them a great opportunity to develop as, um, you know, as ball players and as abrasive handlers and as defenders. You know, he, he's doing a great job for us. Tom, big day for you, your first game back Ireland, but how big a moment that factor was the side of that blue there, is it coming from where you did? Um, to be honest, from, from a personal point of view, it wasn't necessarily any sort of a Munster Leinster thing or anything really like that. It was all about the club for me, really. And just it, if if we were playing against Toulouse and they were they had won the Heineken Cup three times in the last four years, I think it would have just been as big. Um, like Rob said, I've, I've been part of what the club has developed over in the last few years, and I've really enjoyed that and really been privileged to be part of it. And. There's, there's a few more of us like it that really take the club to heart and we're really enjoying being part of it. So no matter who we were going to be playing today, however many Heineken Cups they'd won, it was going to be a massive thing for us um, playing for Exeter Chiefs in the, in the Heineken Cup. So that was probably the biggest motivation, really. Did your brother ring you or speak to you or whatever today or this morning? or Not today, yeah, anyway, no. Not today? <laughs> no, I, I was talking to him during the week, all right. He's, he's too busy doing a book signing today. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, there's, and, mo there's money to be made. <laughs> and, and you're now, you're, you're, only, you're only 101 caps behind him now <laughs> in the Heineken Cup. Is it as hard as he told you or...? or? Uh, he didn't actually tell me how hard it was at all, but uh, I've seen how stiff and sore he's been on plenty Sunday mornings anyway after games. Uh, we kind, kind of knew what to expect in that regard. Did you get a free book or did you have to pay it? <laughs> no, no comment here. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get someone in trouble here if I, if I told you how I got it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.